Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I didn't expect this to happen so fast or at all. And uh, I'm impressed, but that could signal uh, a uh, drop from the lap, <laughs> drop from the lap of Ukraine by the Western countries. And uh, let me see what's going on here. And I will share that with you. So this comes from uh, Sputnik and it's from uh, November 19th, 2022. United Nation calls for full investigation into reports of Russian prisoners of war killed in Ukraine. I don't know if you watched uh, that, but I covered uh, what the Russian uh, claimed to be a war crime, Ukrainian army killing about uh, 10 or 12 Russian uh, prisoners, unarmed Russian military that come out of uh, its own tape. I don't think uh, the shooting is not on tape, but uh, the victims and the beginning of the shooting, the beginning of the whole incident is on tape, uh, supposedly on the free, um, how do you call it, uh, media and free whatever. We, I don't know if you find it or not. What I saw was uh, the people dead over there. And uh, uh, it's good that an investigation is started. As I always say, let's investigate it. Let's have an impartial investigation, international, with observers. Come, look around. And check it out. Follow the procedure and see where the chips may fall. Find out and point out, hey, it was staged, hey, it was fake, hey, there was mercenaries, oh, those had uh, Ukrainian uniforms on and uh, that, therefore they didn't need this, no, no court martial, oh, maybe it was a war crime. But let's find out. And I'm with that, and I'm for that, anywhere else, anywhere else. But I want it to be open, not like a Nord Stream 1, Nord Stream 2 pipeline, so-called investigations. It's one month and a half and nothing. They just tell us, oh, it was a sabotage. We fucking know that. Okay. And I'm here 6,000 miles away from you, mofo. I know that. Oh, we got traces of explosive. Duh. What do you think? It was a whale loses, uses his dick to blow two, uh, three pipelines out of four. I mean, really? And you tell me that after a month and a half, how many millions of dollars were used? Or millions of whatever. So let's see what's going on with these guys. So yes, I'm for impartial investigations and have as many eyes watching what you're doing over there. Don't give me, oh, it's confidentiality. What are you going to be uh, uh, revealing? The perpetrators? And they're going to create a problem? Anyway, and that's the same with what happens in Poland. In Poland with that missile that fell in Poland, some people say, no, it was uh, Ukrainians did it deliberately so they can cause NATO to crazily, supposedly attack uh, Russia or something. Again, no, no, it's just the Poles to go investigate. Okay. Uh, the Americans, why? And uh, we might invite and they invite, I think, the Ukrainians. What about the Russians? Because if it's proven that it was Russians who did everything, then shouldn't they be... Uh, watching it, looking over, invite the Chinese, the French, the German, the Zimbabweans, the, I don't know, Nicaraguans, whatever. The more, the better. Like the Germans, the Nazis, the Wehrmacht, did in the Second World War, right? When they un uh, unearthed the Katyn Forest uh, massacre in Poland with the Polish intelligentsia, done by what? By the Soviet commissars, made up of who? Mostly, boo boo boo. By the Russians, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's how the story goes. And they blame the, the... And they did what? The Germans invited every fucking body. Come and see. Take pictures. See? This is what we, un we unearthed in the Katyn forest. Look. Your friends, uh, Soviets, that you support against us. That, that's how it was. Did they declare war on Soviet Union? They didn't. They declared war on Hitler. Why? Well, I don't know. Anyway, because they were bad, but the Soviets were A-OK. -okay. Were the Soviets communists? Yeah. Oh, they didn't implement it right? Oh, they had to kill more than they did? Oh, OK, thank you very much for the communist apologetics that was. So anyway, let's go here. Ah, man. The United Nations is calling for a full investigation, I'm for it, of all reported human rights violations in the context of more than 10 brutally executed Russian prisoners of war by the Ukrainian side. EU United Nations spokesperson Farhan Hak told Sputnik. 
And I'm quoting, we have called for all reported human rights violations by all sides in this conflict to be fully investigated and for there to be accountability. 100% agree with that, Hack said on Friday. Earlier in the day, the Russian Defense Ministry said that the Ukrainian military had had deliberately, deliberately killed more than 10 captured Russian servicemen, shooting them in the head at point blank, a crime no one can present as a quote unquote tragic exception. The defense ministry said that, and I'm quoting, the published new video evidence of uh, the mass massacre of unnamed Russian prisoners of war by Ukrainian soldiers confirms the savage essence of the current Kiev regime led by, in parentheses, Zelensky and those who protect and support it. The sponsors, you know who you, know who you are. <laughs> the Russian Investigative Committee, committee opened a criminal investigation on Friday into the execution of Russian POWs by the Ukrainian military. The committee said that the Russian military investigators were also taking measures to identify individuals who captured the footage of the execution. Conduct the execution, people, the same with Bucha, with everything, everything. And come forward and say, okay, this uh, Tom Jones guilty, okay, it's Ivan Maragovich. Guilty, no problem. Is Morogov guilty? Good. All right, get him. Get him. But then what are you going to do? Because you might climb the ladder and you find out it was not only uh, Putin the criminal of war, it was also this guy criminal of war. And uh, they had then uh, another person who was, you know, uh, involved as well. And if you go by that, you're going to find out across the Atlantic we have some people who were also responsible for certain things. So what are we going to do? Are we going to be just all the way but we, while we are at it? Then we should go back in history with people that are still alive and unpunished. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're still alive. Still alive. And they are very, very much uh, respected in the free world. And they uh, bombarded and killed, uh, no, through their orders and their decisions, uh, certain kind of people like, I don't know, Serbs, Chinese in Serbia <laughs> and others. Uh, Libya, maybe Iraq, right? Maybe Afghanistan, maybe Syria. You know, while we are at it, if we do that, we will all be guilty of something. And I agree with that uh, statement, which, you know, maybe you figured it out and I said it a few times. I'm not a uh, believer, but, uh, you know, I'm trying to be, uh, you know, just. Uh, justice doesn't really come uh, from that or from that. And, uh, I like when the Christian scriptures uh, tell us about uh, Jesus Christ when he was Mary Magdalene over there, the Lady of the Night, uh, and there were people um, ready to stone her to death. Uh, Jesus Christ showed up and said, hey, 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 put those down. I mean, uh, uh, who doesn't have any sin should cast the first rock. And they all put down the rock. But rocks, but you have to deal with people who are have conscience and say, well, that's true, man, I must fuck up as well. But like that, we will not punish anyone. You know what I mean? So like that, we'll not punish any criminal or any rape, any rapist or any pedophile or any, any, any mass murderer because we're going to say what? Hey, don't, I mean, don't you have any sins? Uh, yeah. Then, you know, put down this and let, let him go. So that's the moral, which I disagree from with that part, you know, like, uh, therefore, we're not going to punish anybody. Then I can do whatever I want to you. And then he's going to take care of us when we go up there. Well, I don't let that happen. I will like to solve things here. And when we get over there, we'll sort those things out as well. Anyway, so here we have uh, this investigation that I didn't think, I did not think it would start and will start so fast, or at least the calls for an investigation. And I'm all for it, not only in this case, in any case, but if we go on those case, cases and everything should be investigated, we should go back in time and again, what are we going to do? Dig up, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, not Eisenhower, the other, the other guy. Uh, Truman, Harry Truman for his two atomic bombs. Are we going to get the guys who flew the An- Anola Gay over the uh, Hiroshima? Are we going to do that? No, but we did with some others. We hanged them. Okay, for good reason, right? 
But what about the other ones? Oh, the other ones are, did not do anything? I don't think so. There's evidence. Every fucking dance. You don't believe me? Look at Dresden. Get going, digging while you're at it. What's his name? Churchill, right? For Dresden uh, bombardment. Oh, you don't know about it? Or if you know, then you would agree with that. Carpet bombing of a civilian population. What is that? But we have good things done and we do bad things. I'm not saying, oh, dig now uh, Churchill and Truman put them right here and talk to them and bring Hitler from wherever he is and retry all of them. Mm -mm. But then, yeah, we, we're going to be selective uh, in... Um, uh, dispensing justice or trying to find out what happened again we go to Mary Magdalene so we have to punish something right anyway I hope everything but that's why we make laws that's why we put limits and we have uh, you know the punishment should uh, uh, you know fit the uh, crime you can you know I still a uh, radish and you uh, sentence me to death really anyway thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just the context also matters because if the uh, that's the only radish that we have in order to uh, uh, prevent the world from starving by planting it and so on then maybe <laughs> that could be a see you later